is your girl Gears. Yes. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a cigarette diaries directly from my cell phone. So if you happen to be under the age of 18, this video is not for you. If you happen to have very sensitive ears to swearing or a very religious person that only talks your Bible on Sunday and you can't send to hear the words like ho, cunt, fuck, shit, motherfuck, asshole, bitch, nigga, pussy, dick, cracker, faggot, dyke, any of those words, you might want to go ahead and exit out of this video because I might not be using them all, but I will be using some of them, especially nigga, because this is about a nigga. I'm definitely going to be using nigga a lot, so this will be the time for you to go ahead and exit out of this video, so give me a minute, y'all. So, I normally get on this motherfucker and talk about, like, how stupid us women can be for niggas, you know, or... You know, how stupid I've been for a man. You know, just basically just stupidity when it comes to women in general. But never, ever, ever would I think that I would get on this bitch and talk about how stupid a man is for pussy. Like, for real. Like, I don't understand what's going on in this person's brain. But I'm about to spill the tea. Because, you know, we're not even friends no more. So, I don't even mind talking about this shit. So, I had this male friend. I'm going to call him Glock because it's what he called himself. We've been friends for four months, just strictly platonic. I always been his ear. Like he's a younger cat. He's 26. I'm 35. So I'm giving him like basically a mature level of advice. And the shit that he has been going through lately with this one bitch is like baffling to me that he's still putting up with this bitch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get in a little bit of details about this shit. So y'all, the shit that I'm about to tell y'all is true. It's 100 percent facts. I'm not making this shit up. So, he met this chick, right? And he met her on a party line. Yes, he met her on a chat line. You know, when you call the phone or whatever, and you talk to people or whatever, and, you know, just voices, you know, no type of, you know, pictures or anything. And yet, she did send him a picture later down the line. You feel me? So, anyways, we're going to call this bitch Lachey, because that's the bitch name on the chat line. Her name is Lachey on that bitch. So, anyways... Yeah, I, I can't even believe like I'm sitting here about to tell y'all about chat line shit. But this is real life shit. So, he met this bitch and he was talking to her for like a good month. And he was ready to meet her. Like, she sent him pictures. But the pictures wasn't like really like showing her. It showed like her physique. But it really wasn't showing her face and everything. So, he was asking her to video chat with him. And she always came up with excuses of why she couldn't video chat with him and stuff. So... He drive trucks. And he was going to her area and he let her know that, you know, I'm going to, you know, be in your area so I'm ready to meet you. Because they've been on the phone faithfully with each other and shit. So anyways, she came up with this excuse of why she couldn't meet him. Something that had to do with her child or something like this. Mind you, this little bitch is 21 years old. Like, for all my 21 year olds out there, I know some of them that are very mature than this bitch. Because my sisters are 21. The twins, they're 21 and they're so much mature than this bitch. But what I'm about to tell y'all, like I said, it is facts. Don't think that I'm lying about this shit. So anyways, she came up with this excuse of why she couldn't meet him. Something about her child and she had to watch her child and blah, blah, blah. So he wasn't able to meet her. And they continued on with their little phone, you know phone friendship, phone relationship because he started to catch feelings for this bitch even though he didn't meet her yet and um he started to find out she was lying about a lot of stuff like the shit that she was lying about y'all it, it, I'm gonna sound so stupid even repeating some of this shit so he found out that she was lying about how many people she had sex with as well as if she had sex with this guy on a time that they kind of like stopped talking to each other for like a week or two. And she did have sex with him. And she basically swear on her son's life that she didn't fuck the guy. But she actually did fuck the guy. Like the truth came out later on. She went ahead and told the truth. How he was able to get the truth up out of this bitch was him hanging up on her over and over again until she tell him the truth. Like he felt like that she wasn't telling him the truth. And she was like saying that she's telling him the truth and he just kept hanging up on her, hanging up on her. And then she finally admitted that she lied about fucking this guy. So... He stopped talking to her for like two days and somehow they end up getting back together. And um, he, you know, not only confides in me, he confides in his grandmother. So his grandmother was like, you should not let a 
person lie to you like that and take advantage of you because you're a good guy, which he is a good, hardworking guy. I'm not even going to take that away from my ex-friend. He was a good, is a good, hardworking guy. So anyways, she ended up talking to the grandmother, telling the grandmother she don't like the fact that me and him have this relationship to where he tells me everything. Now the thing is, he calls me to tell me his business. I don't sit up there and be like, so what happened today? So what's going on? You know, I don't do that shit because I don't really give a fuck. But being that I'm his friend, I'm supposed to lend that ear and that's exactly what I did. So she didn't like the fact that he was telling me everything, you know. And honestly, a man is not supposed to tell a female everything. So his grandmother did what a grandmother is supposed to do. Let him know that you shouldn't be telling a female all your business. But yeah, he was still telling me his business. So fast forward, they end up meeting each other. But... The same night that he was going to meet her, she called him up on his way going to meet her to tell him that she had something to tell him. And he was like, what? And she said that her eyes are droopy. Now, this is not no lie. This is some shit that she told him, that her eyes are droopy, right? So, <laughs> he met her and come to find out she's, like, legally blind. Like, she can see but barely, like for real, I'm dead ass serious, he had to like guide her, like he continued to talk to her, like she got in a truck with him and got on the road with him for, you know, a week, they end up getting stuck because his truck broke down, so they end up getting stuck together for like a week, when she opened up much more about her, you know, losing her vision, saying that she had got beat up real bad by this guy that was like basically beating her head to the ground repeatedly for an hour and it fucked her up so bad that she has to have a tube in her head as well as a tube through her stomach to keep the water off her brain this is what she told him y'all and you know this is why she said that she's blind so something about that story just didn't make sense to me like who actually beat someone's head to the ground repeatedly for an hour like I know it's some dumb motherfuckers out there some crazy deranged motherfuckers out there but I don't know damn nigga that's gonna spend a whole hour beating a bitch brain to the well head to the ground so it just didn't make sense to me so you know she was crying and confiding in him and it made him draw more towards her because he felt sorry for the bitch you know what I'm saying I'm sorry that I'm calling her a bitch but she is a bitch and I'm gonna tell y'all why but I'm gonna tell y'all later on in the story so anyways they end up spending a week together and it was only because he, had, he was getting his truck worked on, like, maintenance and stuff. Whatever was going on with his truck had him down. So, they were staying in the hotel for, like, a week. He ended up getting her nails done, getting her some clothes, spending some money on a bitch, you know. And he had to guide her to the bathroom. That's how bad her vision is. He had to guide her to the bathroom. She wake him up late at night to guide him. I mean, guide her to the bathroom. Also had to guide her through Walmart where he got her clothes from and guide her to get her nails done as well. So, you know, that's how legally blind this bitch is, you know. So, anyways, um, after that fiasco, he dropped her off home. He come to find out that she also lied to him about phone fucking, y'all. Having phone sex with women as well as men. And it was like four different women and men that she had phone sex with. So, like, he was really pissed off about that. But the last straw was that he found out that she, because she told him that, you know, about her past, that she got raped and she was in foster care. And it's just so many stories that this girl had. So many sad stories this bitch had. So, he wanted to find out, like, you know, if she really was in foster care or not. And I was like, well, maybe you could pull up her mama's public records to see if her mom had been arrested for, you know, whatever she did to lose her kids. So, we looked it up on the internet. Couldn't find nothing up under her mother or anything. We looked her up, found out she never been arrested because she told him that she was arrested for stealing and shit. Found out she didn't have a fucking um, record or anything like that. And um, he asked her what was the name of the man that raped her or the boy that raped her when she was younger. And so she's starting to get a hint that he didn't believe her. So what she did was called up his grandmother and told his grandmother that she lied about being in foster care. So that basically means she didn't get raped because she said she got raped while she was in foster care. But this girl still gave out the guy's name. So 
we looked up the guy, and he didn't have a background record. Like, he had a record for weed, selling weed and stuff, and that was back in 2014. But he didn't have a record for, you know, rape or anything like that. So, she was lying about that, you know. And he just, like, stopped talking to her. So, she basically got his phone turned off. I don't know how she got his phone turned off, but she called up the phone company and got this nigga phone cut the fuck off. Not only that, y'all, this bitch ended up calling his job. Calling his job, letting his job know that she rode in his truck for a week. Well, not really a week, but just, you know, the higher amount of days that she was in the truck walk, um, with him for it. And she didn't have a riding pass. I see truck drivers have to have a riding pass for their passengers for the company that he works for. And the company called him and was like, there's this lady on the phone Saying that, you know, she rode in your truck without a ride and passes. It's true. And it was like his word against her. So, you know, nothing really happened. But then she had called back to his job and had her mother vouch for her that she rode in his truck. Now, he has two phones. She got one phone turned off. She's calling his man job to get him fired. I'm like, God fucking damn. This girl is like really, really a fucking black widow. Like, she is like a, a bitch. Straight up 100% bitch. For real. So, he didn't do nothing to her. That's the, that's the whole thing about it. He didn't do anything to her. And she's like lashing out on him because he don't want to talk to her no more. So, not only that, y'all. That's not it. She started getting on the chat line giving out his grandmother's number. People start calling his grandmother's phone, playing on her phone and shit, leaving voicemail messages and all of this other shit. And it was just so crazy that, you know, this bitch just went that fucking low. So, she also was on there telling about how he growed up, you know, like his mom and dad is crackheads and how they used to beat on him and take his car and how he didn't finish high school. How his shoes was leaning when he was in school and he used to get picked on. She was just going in on him and all of this. So... I just had it. Like, I'm his friend, so of course I'm going to have his back. So, I started retaliating, and he started retaliating. Like, we both going back and forth with this bitch about, you know, her being blind, about her lying and saying she got raped and everything. So, he said, let's call up the guy. And I'm going to tell y'all how we called up the guy, because, you know, I'm like inch eye private eye investigator. Like, I watched Catfish before. So, we looked up the guy's name. He's the only person that has that name on Facebook. So, I hit him up and I was like, could you call me? Because my brother is fucking with this girl that you probably know. And I need to know some information, me and my brother. And so, he gave me his number and me and Glock called him on three-way. And so, Glock was like, she was saying that you raped her and everything. And he was like, bruh. She was a thought, like, she had niggas, like, running a train on her and everything, and the whole rape thing happened with another guy, where she basically had, um, got her cherry popped, and she was bleeding on her clothes, and her mom seen her, you know, clothes bloody and shit, and her mom was like, what happened, and she done lied and said that a nigga raped her, but then, like, weeks down the line, she told the truth that it was consensual, and, you know, she you know, lost her virginity with this nigga or whatever. So, you know, her mom dropped, you know, whatever charges that, you know, was pending that this little bitch done lied on a nigga about. So, anyways, the, the young man was telling us all this girl tease, y'all. And he was like, bruh, fuck all of the shit that you asking me about this bitch. You need to know that this bitch has HIV. <sighs> Did y'all hear me? Did y'all hear me? He told him that this little bitch has HIV. And that's the reason why she is going blind. That she didn't get beat up by no nigga or nothing. She had HIV and it was in the bad stages. That she was in the hospital for two weeks. Almost dying. People was putting up Facebook posts to pray for her and everything. He was like, I'm her, bro I'm her brother's homeboy. Like, me and her brother hang around each other. So, you know, and, and yeah, of course he was fucking her when she was younger. But, you know, now, like, years later, he left the same town that she's in. But everybody in that town knows that she's, like, neighborhood thigh and she got AIDS. I asked 
asked him, did you have unprotected sex with this bitch? He said, no. Nah. But he did eat a pussy and ate an ass. And I was like, bruh, within two to three months, you need to go get tested because you probably ate that disease. Like, not even being funny or anything. Like, I was really concerned about him going to get tested. And so he called her and asked her because he was upset. And was like, bitch, dude, you got AIDS or whatever. And she was like, nah. So she ended up calling her doctor on three-way so her doctor can verify the reason why she's going blind, which is meningitis. Like, if y'all don't know what meningitis is, it's just basically fluid on the brain. And it comes from filthiness. So the doctor had confirmed that she's going blind because of the meningitis. And she has a tube in her head and everything. But um, she don't have meningitis anymore and she need to continue to take her pills. So I was like, bruh, did she ask the doctor about the HIV part though? Because she left that part out. Because that was kind of weird that she didn't, you know, verify that she didn't have AIDS. And he was like, no. So I was like, bruh, you still need to go get tested. So after all of this, y'all, cussing her out, you know, she putting all of his information out there about his grandmother and his parents and his upbringing and everything. Trying to get him fired, fucking with his livelihood. And not only that, fucking with his life, possibly. Don't y'all know that this nigga is with her right now today? Like, he's still fucking with this bitch. Like, I don't know how it happened. But it happened. Like, we stopped talking because she tried to turn the story around on me saying I'm in her business. And I'm the one that got them, you know, breaking up and shit. And I just didn't understand that. Like, I, didn't, I know that this nigga got common sense. He know for a fact I never lied to him. I always was just a genuine friend being his ear, being his confidant. And I'm like, bruh, are you serious? Like... She's trying to turn this shit around on me. And it seems like you believe in this bitch. So, I back the fuck back. I told him, look, don't call my motherfucking phone no more. Because, one, I was already tired of you fucking bitching about this bitch every fucking day on a fucking hour. And I am not lying, y'all. He was bitching about this bitch too many times with me. Like, 24 hours damn near a day. All different types of the morning. I even had my friend to call me on three-way to save me. From talking to him. I had to merge her in so she could say, Glock, I need my friend real quick. So, we're going to call you back. I got something to tell her. Like, we set it up so she can get me off the phone with this nigga. That's how much that I got tired of listening about this nigga bitch about this bitch. And I'm like, damn, bro, how much more could you motherfucking take? And now you back with the bitch. Now you back with the bitch, y'all. So I'm like, damn. Like, this his shit is, like, made for TV. Like, this is some real life shit. Like, you probably did fuck this bitch raw. That's probably why you still fucking with this bitch right now today. Like, I don't understand it. But, y'all, some niggas can be stupid, too. You think us females are stupid all the damn time? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Niggas are stupid, too. Like, niggas, like, like I, I didn't know they could be this goddamn stupid until I met him. Like, for real. I know y'all tired of me lighting up this goddamn black, but that's how black and vows go. They like to go out on you when you're talking shit. Give me a minute. Mm, 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 mm. I promise y'all, no lie. I was drinking out of a cup earlier. I was when I was doing this video. I had my little wine glass and everything. I like fuck that wine glass. I'm drinking out the bottle. <sighs> Shout out to Arbor Miss. But ain't this some shit, y'all? Like, niggas, for real, like, I can't even say niggas because I know men out there have much more common sense than this motherfucker. Like, are you that hard up for some pussy? Some disabled handicapped pussy at that. You know what I'm saying? Possibly AIDS infected ass pussy because I really don't know if this bitch got AIDS. I don't know if it's a rumor or not. But this is one thing that she told him that really made me scratch my head. She said, nigga, you gonna die. You dying. I'm gonna hurt you. What does that mean, y'all? That's somewhat like she's trying to say that she do got that shit and he gonna die because he fucked her raw, right? He told me he didn't fuck her raw. But, you know, hey, who am I to judge? I'm like, bruh, if you like it, I love it. I just back my way all the way back because he started calling me names like fat bitches and all this other shit. I'm like, nigga, for real? Like, the girl that was like your ear 
the one that had your back to, you know what I'm saying, go in on this bitch after all this shit this bitch did and you still fucking with this bitch right now today. <sighs> At the end of the day, y'all, I already know that it's not going to work out, you know, just by the, the whole destructive relationship that it's been, that they've been talking two months, two fucking months, and it's been too much shit going on with him and this bitch. So I already know they're not going to make it. But I'm just going to pray for this nigga. That's all I can do is pray for this nigga. Glock. Get your motherfucking act right, bruh. Like, for real. Wake the fuck up. But at the end of the day, that's you. That's your life. And hey, it is what it is, y'all. I really do think that this nigga never had a bitch before. Like, he never had real love before. It's like, she's the only bitch in this world. Like, for real, nigga. Like, for real. Wake the fuck up. I don't know what person will stick around with someone that possibly has HIV and affected you, that fucked up or almost tried to fuck up your livelihood. I'm talking about calling your job and trying to get you fired. Not only that, getting your phone turned off and giving out stranger bitches your grandmother's number so they can play on her phone and shit. And I know his grandmother is upset. Miss Elsa, I know she is upset about the fact that he got back with this bitch. I know she is, but I blocked him off of everything, y'all. After I've been called all the fat bitches and shit, I was like, what? Like, for real, nigga? For real. So, anyways, y'all, I just wanted to share this here little whole discombobulated little, you know, thing that went on with my friend or my ex-friend. And I just got to say this. People, when these motherfucking red flags are in your face, motherfucker, don't fucking ignore them. Don't fucking try to make excuses of why you need to be with a motherfucker that's doing you wrong. Doing everything to fuck up your life, nigga, for real. Y'all, don't ignore those, those red flags. They are there for a reason. They are there for a reason. And I just don't know what else to say after this. Like, this nigga need to really find his motherfucking happy place. Like, he really need to take some time out and, you know, enjoy life and, you know, smell the roses and also get tested and leave this bitch alone. But he ain't got no common sense. He lack it. He lack it, y'all. He really do. It was just so good to just, like, explain this to y'all and get this off my chest. Because it really, really did hurt me a little bit because I was his genuine friend and I did really genuinely care about his well-being. But I see that he don't care, so I don't care. If you don't give a damn, I don't give a fuck. Hey! And that's some real nigga shit, y'all. This your girl, Giz. I'm gonna get up out this bitch. Bye!